Yo guys, it is Sacred Saiyan here, welcome you back to another video. Before we get into this video, I'd like to thank you all so much for the support, but I'm feeling burnt out right now, so I'm going to not upload for the next week so I can find my motivation again, and that will also give you guys an entire week to comment your suggestions on what you want to see next. Also, if you end up liking the video, please consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind. With all that being said, let's get into What if Goku was born with Ultra Instinct Finale? We are starting this video where the last one ended. Gokan Black is basking in his glory and Goku is extremely worried. Goku tries to rush at Gokan Black but Gokan Black dodges every single attack. Super Saiyan 4 Goku finally kills the Omni Priest and he comes to try help our Goku. They attack Gohan Black in unison but Gokan still dodges all of their attacks. Gohan, Gohan Black smacks both Gokus away and he chuckles. Super Saiyan 4 Goku pulls out a Patara earring and he says that if they fuse then they should do the same. Goku nods and puts on the earring. A blinding light appears and a fusion between two Gokus emerges. Gokan Black asked what is he supposed to call them and they say that since they are a fusion of two Gokus he's just called Fused Goku. Fused Goku lets out a roar. Fuse Goku is in Master Ultra Instinct and he rushes at Gokan. Gokan tries to dodge the attack, but Fuse Goku easily lands a barrage of punches on him. Gokan Black doesn't understand how Fuse Goku is stronger than him, but Fuse Goku just smirks and says that he thought Gokan would be a challenge, but guess he was wrong. Fuse Goku powers up a Kamehameha and Gokan Black does the same. They both fire the beam attacks at each other and they clash. Gokan Black thinks he gains the upper hand but then Fused Goku smiles and powers up more and the beam overtakes Gokan Black. Gokan Black is defused and Fused Goku does the same. Super Saiyan 4 Goku then kills Goku Black and is about to kill Gohan because he didn't want to put that guilt onto the other Goku but he said that he must be the one to do it. Super Saiyan 4 Goku nods and he teleports away and returns to his own timeline. Goku and Gohan come face to face. Gohan powers up into Master Ultra Instinct. Gohan begins to have a meltdown, saying that this is all Goku's fault. He didn't save him. He didn't even try and revive him. It is all his fault. Goku then lets out a roar. Goku has finally achieved true instinct. This form allows him 
to not lose any stamina while being able to use Ultra Instinct, and any emotion he has will make the form even stronger. He tells Gohan that he tried to save him, he tried to revive him. Ever since Gohan was erased, he has been trying to get him back. Gohan tried to attack Goku with a barrage of punches, but Goku easily dodges every single one. Gohan, filled with emotions, tries to land one last punch on Goku, but Goku catches the punch. Goku and Gohan hug, but then he feels Gohan fading away. Goku asks Gohan what is happening, and he says, The final wish hearts made with the Dragon Balls was that if Gohan ever turned against them, he would be erased from existence. Gohan says that he forgives Goku for not reviving him. With Gohan's last words, he says, I am sorry. People face a lot of hardships in life. This Goku being a prime example. Even when accessing an insane power far earlier than ever thought possible, he still lost more than most people. He not only lost fights, but he lost his son. Gohan. This Goku should be a prime example of even if you lose the ones you love, you must carry on. And just like this Goku, you can't bring back the ones you love. <laughs>